Well, we finally made it up to Virgil's Drive here. 300 plus there. Nice poke down the middle here. Thank you. Par five. Time to go for it in two. And this is a situation that you're probably faced with at home. I want to go for it. I want to hit my fairway wood. But if you're going to go for it, then you've got to create some speed and make an aggressive swing. So here's something I want you to think about with your three wood is I want you to make sure that not only do you get your weight left, but I want you to really kind of push up off the ground and turn through aggressively and let your arms follow that. So I'm gonna take my three wood here. I'm gonna go for an aggressive swing, good weight shift, and then really push up. I think you did a great job of explaining one critical factor, get set up for it real quick, is that when the hips come through the ball, they need to extend. So when you come through, they need to extend, but they need to extend down the target line not into the golf ball. Most people make the mistake by early extending into the right. ball. It's extend on a target line and he just did an extremely awesome job of doing that. I think one thing I see too guys is people when they're trying to go for it in two they think their speed is all coming from their upper body. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of the members that I work with again when I say hit it hard or get distance you know they're trying to get all their speed from their upper body Absolutely. so again what I try to get them to do same thing sort of what Travis was saying is yes I want you to actually try to feel the speed from the lower body mm -hmm. you know through the ball so again it's almost like I tell them let's get our feet let's get our lower body actually you know you traveling faster you know through the ball rather than yeah you know trying to get it from the arm speed Yeah, and that's just what happens here right we're going for it's a three wood it's an aggressive play and then oftentimes we see this swing where it's almost like a deceleration phase where it's all upper body and we're trying to manufacture it down the range and we lose control of the face and it goes all over the place. When the best players hit this shot, they're going after it. And they're getting in there, they're using their lower body, they're shifting and turning and I would say darn near swinging at this about as hard as they can to try to bust it up the fairway and get it up onto that green. So one more time here, hey by the way, I can see why this is the number one fairway win in golf right now. Hey guys, again, just I want to talk to all you guys about again the technology here of the hyperspeed face cup mm -hmm. on these fairway woods. Again, a lot of the players that I'm working with at, at my membership, again, a lot of mid to high handicappers. So again, they're hitting it all over the face. And again, this being the number one fairway wood in golf, again, the forgiveness off not just the sweet spot is what's really special about yeah, this. It's club. the increased ball speed on the off center hits that makes such a big difference. No question about it. And, and, and no one's hitting it in the center of the face every single time, right? So it's important that when you catch it on the toe and the heel and the ball roams around, that the ball speed continues to elevate because that's what you need. You need ball speed to get this ball up the fairway. So hopefully that helps you the next time you're faced with a par five and you want to go for it too. Be aggressive and make an aggressive swing with this XR16. And again, for any more help with other areas of your game, please click the buttons below. All right, guys, this was my tee ball, so I'm going for it. Here we go.